In this one, we will be developing a web application which will make use of Google Vision API to detect text from images. So here I have this canvas and if I draw any number like 31 over here and click on recognize, you'll notice that it says recognize number as 31. So let's go ahead and see how we are doing this. First thing is that you need to enable Cloud Vision API. Once you have done that, go to credentials and get the API key. Once you have the API key, all you need to do is create a script file and create a variable. Using that, you will be querying the Google Vision API. So in my case, I have the API key over here and then the API URL. The API URL is vision.googleapis.com version 1 images colon annotate and then key is over here that is we are appending that key once that's done we are preparing a request data and we are saying that we need to detect text in that image and the image is coming from the canvas which is having this image data which is being passed to detect text now we make use of the fetch method over here using post we are getting the data and we are showing it so this is the class that we have created it's a wrapper class and here we have the actual functionality so if i take you to the html page you'll notice that we just have a canvas over here with this id drawing canvas and a button which says recognize button clicking on this basically invokes the cloud vision api call and here when, when the page is ready, you can see that we are taking the context of the drawing canvas. So that's the canvas, canvas.getContext. Here we have the context of it. And then we are looking for mouse or touch events. That's when we draw some number on the canvas. And once that's done and the recognize button is clicked, we take the data using the two data URL of the canvas and this image data is then passed to the wrapper class that we have created and the wrapper class has a method called detect text in which this data is passed and then we get the response over here. So if the result is returned properly, we have the recognized text. Otherwise, it says no number recognized. And here, if any errors occur, like the service is basically a paid service. So even for free, service trials you need to have your account set up if you are not attaching any billing accounts you might encounter this error message error recognizing the number and that's pretty much it so whenever we are writing any number over here it's recognizing it and displaying it over here so that's how easy it is to incorporate google cloud vision api in your web projects